A barrage of more than 300 rockets was launched from Gaza toward Israel on Monday, the Israel Army said, hours after a botched Israeli operation in Gaza left a Hamas commander and an Israeli soldier dead. Clarence Shaughnessy reports. Palestinians in Gaza fired scores of rockets, mortar bombs, and at least one anti-tank missile into southern Israel on Monday, November 12. And Israel launched retaliatory airstrikes a day after an Israeli incursion prompted deadly fighting in the enclave. Three Palestinian gunmen were killed in the air attacks, their faction said. On the Israeli side of the border, a guided missile destroyed a bus, critically wounding one person and shelling salvo trucks at least two homes, authorities said. We heard the siren, so we entered the shelter. We closed the door and the window. After a few seconds, we heard a bomb. Not a huge one when I was in the army. I had worse bombs. After a few seconds, we went outside and saw this chaos. We saw that a rocket hit the window of our neighbors and fell on the floor. Our neighbor was alone at home, but she was lucky she was in another room. In southern Israel, interceptor missiles streaked through the skies and sirens sounded during the military said were more than 200 rockets and mortar launches from Gaza. Israeli medical officials said at least 10 people were hurt. Meanwhile, Israeli warplanes bombed studios of Hamas television station in the Gaza Strip on Monday, November 12. During a surge in cross-border fighting, Palestinian officials and witnesses said there was no immediate words of casualties in the airstrike on Al Aqsa television, which destroyed the premises in Gaza City and damaged nearby buildings. Many local residents had fled after Israeli phoned in calls to evacuate and launched at least five non exploding missiles nearby as warnings, witnesses said. Al Aqsa television, named after a major mosque in Jerusalem, said it would resume broadcasts soon. Clarence Shaughnessy, UNTV News and Rescue, USA.